The Magnificent Seven 1960 cast then and now 2024, all the cast members died tragically. Welcome to our deep dive into the iconic 1960 Western The Magnificent Seven. Join us as we explore the classic tale of courage and camaraderie, where seven gunslingers band together to protect a small Mexican village from ruthless bandits. We'll delve into the stories behind the characters, the actors who brought them to life, and the enduring legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. Now, let's get started. Eli Wallach, Calvera. Eli Wallach's portrayal of Calvera in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven remains a standout example of his exceptional talent and versatility as an actor. Born on December 7, 1915, in Brooklyn, New York, Wallach graduated from the University of Texas at Austin and the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City. His early career was marked by numerous stage performances, and he won a Tony Award in 1951 for his performance in Tennessee Williams' The Rose Tattoo. In The Magnificent Seven, directed by John Sturgis, Wallach brought to life Calvera, the charismatic yet ruthless bandit leader who terrorizes a small Mexican village, prompting its villagers to hire seven American gunmen for protection. Wallach's Calvera is not a typical villain. He infused the character with a certain charm and wit, making him both likable and menacing. This complex portrayal added depth to the narrative, highlighting themes of honor, justice, and redemption that are central to the film. Wallach's performance was pivotal in defining the film's dramatic tension and contributing to its critical success. The Magnificent Seven went on to become one of the most beloved westerns in cinema history, celebrated for its story and its powerful performances. Beyond The Magnificent Seven, Eli Wallach enjoyed a prolific career in film, television, and theater, displaying a wide range of characters from bandits to patriarchs. Notable film roles included Baby Doll, 1956, for which he earned a BAFTA for Most Promising Newcomer, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, 1966, where he played another iconic bandit, Tuco. Eli Wallach's contribution to the arts was recognized in 2010, when he received an honorary Academy Award for his lifetime achievement. His career spanned over six decades, during which he became known not only for his flexibility and depth as an actor, but also for his dedication and passion for the craft. Wallach passed away on June 24, 2014, at the age of 98, in Manhattan, New York City, leaving behind a legacy as one of Hollywood's most memorable character actors. His role as Calvera remains a testament to his skill in creating complex, unforgettable characters. Robert Vaughn, Lee. Robert Vaughn delivered a memorable performance as Lee in the 1960 classic Western, The Magnificent Seven. Born on November 22, 1932 in New York City, Vaughn brought a unique blend of vulnerability and quiet intensity to his role, portraying a gunslinger haunted by past failures and seeking redemption. Lee is a complex character, struggling with his own fears and insecurities while trying to prove his worth and courage alongside the other six gunmen. Vaughn's portrayal of Lee added a significant layer of emotional depth to the film, which is renowned for its ensemble cast and engaging narrative. His performance was subtle yet impactful, highlighting his character's internal battles and evolution throughout the story. This role stands out as one of the key elements that contributed to the film's lasting appeal and critical acclaim. Robert Vaughn had a distinguished career both before and after The Magnificent Seven. He was welcomed for his role as Napoleon Solo in the television series The Man from Uenkel E, which made him a household name during the 1960s. Vaughn's extensive filmography includes significant roles in movies such as Bullet and The Towering Inferno, as well as a prolific presence on television. Vaughn's contributions to the acting world were widely recognized, earning him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in The Young Philadelphians, 1959, 
before his role in The Magnificent Seven. Throughout his career, he was admired for his versatility and ability to bring depth to a diverse range of characters. Robert Vaughn passed away on November 11, 2016, in Danbury, Connecticut. He left behind a legacy as a talented actor whose performances enriched American cinema and television. His portrayal of Lee in The Magnificent Seven remains a poignant example of his skill in bringing complex characters to life, making a lasting impact on audiences, and contributing significantly to the film's enduring success. James Coburn, Brit. James Coburn's portrayal of Brit in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven is celebrated for epitomizing the cool and skilled sharpshooter. Born on August 31, 1928, in Laurel, Nebraska, Coburn brought an unmistakable charisma and an air of nonchalance to his role, making Brit one of the most iconic characters in the film. His effortless performance highlighted Brit's proficiency with a knife, contributing significantly to some of the film's most memorable scenes. Coburn's Brit is a man of few words but profound skill, adding a significant layer of intrigue and competence to the band of seven hired to protect a poor Mexican village from bandits. His portrayal resonates with audiences for its embodiment of the quiet, tough gunslinger archetype, making Brit a quintessential figure in Western film lore. James Coburn's career spanned more than 45 years, where he was known for his distinctive voice and towering presence. He starred in a wide variety of films, including major hits like Our Man Flint and In Like Flint, where he played super spy Derek Flint, and he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Affliction, 1997. Coburn's performances often infused his characters with a mix of intensity and laid-back charm, characteristics that defined his long and successful career in Hollywood. Beyond his iconic film roles, Coburn also made significant appearances on television and was involved in several stage productions, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He was also known for his interest in martial arts, particularly karate, which added an element of authenticity to his physically demanding roles. James Coburn passed away on November 18, 2002, in Beverly Hills, California. His legacy in the film industry remains influential. His role as Brit in The Magnificent Seven stands out as a defining performance that showcased his cool demeanor and sharp talent. Coburn's contribution to the Western genre and cinema at large has made him a beloved figure remembered for his distinctive style and memorable performances. Rosenda Monteros, Petra. Rosenda Monteros made a lasting impression with her portrayal of Petra in the 1960 classic Western The Magnificent Seven. Born on August 31, 1935, in Veracruz, Mexico, Monteros brought depth and resilience to her character, standing out as the strong and determined young woman in a predominantly male ensemble. Petra is a key figure in the narrative, representing the spirit and hope of the oppressed villagers. Her interactions with the gunman, especially her developing relationship with one of the seven, add layers of human emotion and complexity to the storyline. Monteros's performance as Petra was notable for its authenticity and strength. In a film that primarily focused on its male characters, her role provided a crucial perspective on the impacts of the mercenaries' actions on the villagers they were hired to protect. This portrayal not only contributed to the film's emotional weight, but also highlighted Monteros's ability to hold her own alongside established Hollywood actors. Throughout her career, Rosenda Monteros worked in both Mexican cinema and international projects, showcasing her versatility across a range of genres. Despite being best known internationally for her role in The Magnificent Seven, she had a prolific career in Mexico and appeared in numerous films and television shows that demonstrated her broad acting skills. Rosenda Monteros passed away on December 29, 2018 in Mexico City. Her portrayal of Petra remains a memorable part of her acting legacy. 
Through this role, she brought a nuanced portrayal of courage and vulnerability, making Petra a beloved character in Western film history. Monteros' performance in The Magnificent Seven remains celebrated for its representation of strength and determination, marking her as a significant figure in the cinematic portrayal of complex female characters in an era dominated by male-centric narratives. Yul Brynner, Chris Larrabee Adams. Yul Brynner's portrayal of Chris Larrabee Adams in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven stands as one of his most iconic roles, perfectly capturing the stoic and authoritative leader of the titular group of gunslingers. Born on July 11, 1920, in Vladivostok Far Eastern Republic, now Russia, Brynner brought an intense magnetic presence to the screen that defined the character of Chris, making him the unmistakable heart of the film's ensemble cast. Chris Larrabee Adams is the composed and enigmatic leader who assembles a group of seven diverse gunmen to protect a small Mexican village from marauding bandits. Brynner's portrayal was marked by his distinctive bald head and commanding demeanor, lending a charismatic and formidable aura to his character. This role showcased his ability to embody a complex character who is both a hard-end warrior and a compassionate leader, qualities that resonate throughout the film as he navigates the challenges and moral dilemmas faced by the group. The Magnificent Seven was a pivotal film in Brynner's career, coming after his Academy Award-winning performance in The King and I, 1956. The role of Chris Larrabee Adams allowed Brenner to solidify his status as a leading actor in Hollywood, capable of carrying a major action film with gravitas and depth. His leadership on screen was mirrored by his influence off screen, as he was instrumental in bringing the project to life, inspired by Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. Beyond his work in The Magnificent Seven, Yul Brenner had a prolific career in both film and theater known for his performances in Westworld, 1973, and a highly successful stage run in The King and I, among others. His unique look and style, along with his intense performances, made him a memorable figure in the entertainment industry. Yul Brynner passed away on October 10, 1985, in New York City, from lung cancer. His portrayal of Chris Larrabee Adams remains a defining part of his legacy, embodying the archetypal Western hero who is both tough and thoughtful. Brenner's performance in The Magnificent Seven continues to be celebrated for its iconic contribution to the Western genre and for helping to create one of the most enduring stories in cinema history. Charles Bronson, Bernardo O'Reilly Charles Bronson's portrayal as Bernardo O'Reilly in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven is a standout example of his rugged charisma and stoic strength. Born on November 3, 1921, in Ehrenfeld, Pennsylvania, Bronson brought a profound depth to his character, embodying the archetype of the tough but tender-hearted hero. Bernardo O'Reilly is a complex figure a man of mixed Irish and Mexican heritage, who initially joins the group of gunmen for the money, but becomes deeply invested in the plight of the villagers they are hired to protect. Bronson's portrayal of O'Reilly highlighted his character's internal conflict and his journey towards rediscovering his own sense of honor and duty. His interactions with the village children are particularly poignant, revealing a softer side to the otherwise hardened fighter. This role in The Magnificent Seven was pivotal in defining Bronson's career trajectory, allowing him to display a vulnerability and emotional depth that complemented his physical presence and stoic demeanor. This performance helped to establish him as a leading figure in action films and westerns during the 1960s and beyond. Throughout his career, Charles Bronson became synonymous with the tough guy persona, starring in iconic films like Death Wish and The Dirty Dozen. However, his role as Bernardo O'Reilly offered a more nuanced take on the traditional masculine hero, combining toughness with empathy and moral complexity. Charles Bronson passed away on August 30, 2003 in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 81. His portrayal of Bernardo O'Reilly in The Magnificent Seven 
remains a standout performance, contributing to the film's lasting legacy as a landmark in the Western genre. It showcased Bronson's unique ability to blend physicality with depth, making Bernardo O'Reilly a beloved and enduring character in cinema history. Horst Buchholz, Chico. Horst Buchholz's performance as Chico in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven brought youthful energy and passion to the ensemble cast. Born on December 4, 1933, in Berlin, Germany, Buchholz played the role of the eager and impulsive young gunman whose ambition to prove himself among seasoned fighters added a dynamic layer to the film's plot. Chico is characterized as the youngest and least experienced of the seven, often acting brashly and driven by a desire to establish his worth. Buchholz captured this youthful zeal perfectly, portraying Chico's growth from a naive idealist to a matured individual shaped by the harsh realities of their mission. His interactions with the villagers, particularly his romantic subplot with one of the local women, helped to develop his character's depth showcasing his transformation and the impact of his experiences. This role in The Magnificent Seven was significant for Buchholz as it exposed him to a wide international audience, highlighting his versatility and charm. Already a notable star in Germany, his work in the film solidified his status as a compelling actor on the global stage. Throughout his career, Horst Buchholz appeared in various international films, bringing intensity and authenticity to a range of characters. He was known for his work in European cinema, as well as his roles in Hollywood productions. Horst Buchholz passed away on March 3, 2003, in Berlin, Germany, at the age of 69. His portrayal of Chico in The Magnificent Seven remains memorable for its portrayal of youthful vigor and the personal growth of his character. Buchholz's performance added a significant emotional component to the film, enriching its narrative and leaving a lasting impact on audiences. His contribution to the film is celebrated as a key element that complements the more seasoned personas of his co-stars, making The Magnificent Seven a cherished classic in Western cinema history. Jorge Martinez de Hoyos, Hilario. Jorge Martinez de Hoyos delivered a compelling performance as Hilario in the 1960 classic Western, The Magnificent Seven. Born on September 25, 1920, in Mexico City, Mexico, Martinez de Hoyos portrayed the role of the courageous and determined villager who initially seeks out the gunman to protect his village from the marauding bandits. Hilario is a central figure among the villagers, embodying their desperation and hope. He is not only a key instigator in recruiting the seven gunmen, but also takes an active role in the village's defense, demonstrating leadership and bravery. Martinez de Hoyos imbued Hilario with a quiet strength and resolute spirit that resonated deeply with the film's themes of courage and communal struggle. This role showcased Martinez de Hoyos's ability to portray nuanced characters, earning him recognition beyond Mexican cinema, where he was already a well-established actor. His performance in The Magnificent Seven highlighted his talent and brought him international acclaim, making him a memorable part of this ensemble cast. Throughout his career, Jorge Martinez de Hoyos starred in numerous films and television series, appreciated for his versatile acting skills and his ability to deliver powerful performances. He was a prominent figure in Mexican cinema and television, respected for his contributions to the arts. Jorge Martinez de Hoyos passed away on May 6, 1997, in Mexico City, Mexico, at the age of 76. His portrayal of Hilario in The Magnificent Seven remains a testament to his skill as an actor, capturing the dignity and resolve of a man fighting for his community's survival. Natividad Vacio, Villager. Natividad Vacio's role as a villager in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven may not have been as prominent as those of the main characters, 
but his contribution added a layer of authenticity and depth to the portrayal of the besieged village. Born on May 15, 1912, in El Paso, Texas, Vasio was an actor and a teacher, respected for his ability to bring sincerity and subtle strength to his roles. In The Magnificent Seven, Vasio's character is one of the many villagers who are deeply affected by the constant threat of bandit attacks. While his role did not have a specific name or extensive screen time, his presence represented the plight and resilience of the ordinary villagers. His interactions with the main characters helped to convey the gravity of the situation and the villagers' desperate need for help, thereby enriching the narrative's emotional landscape. Vasio's portrayal added to the film's rich tapestry of characters, showcasing his skill at playing supportive yet impactful roles. His performance, although brief, was an integral part of illustrating the film's broader themes of community and resistance against oppression. Beyond The Magnificent Seven, Natividad Vasio had a diverse career that included roles in both films and television. He often played characters that were integral to the development of the main plot, earning him a reputation as a reliable character actor. Natividad Vasio passed away on February 23, 1996, in Burbank, California, at the age of 83. His work in The Magnificent Seven, while not as highlighted as that of his co-stars, remains a part of his legacy, exemplifying his ability to contribute meaningfully to a major film with even a limited role. His career is remembered for its dedication to portraying complex, believable characters in a variety of narrative contexts. Steve McQueen, Vin Tanner. Steve McQueen's portrayal of Vin Tanner in the 1960 classic Western The Magnificent Seven is one of his most iconic roles, highlighting his cool demeanor and charismatic screen presence. Born on March 24, 1930, in Beech Grove, Indiana, McQueen brought a blend of rugged charm and understated intensity to his character, making Vin Tanner a memorable and beloved figure in the film. Vin Tanner is one of the hired guns tasked with protecting a small Mexican village from a group of marauding bandits. As a skilled marksman and horseman, Tanner is pivotal in organizing the village's defense. McQueen's portrayal captured Tanner's practical and somewhat cynical outlook, tempered by a strong sense of justice and bravery as the story unfolds. His character's development from a mercenary motivated by money to a hero, motivated by moral duty, is subtly conveyed through McQueen's nuanced performance. The Magnificent Seven was a significant film in McQueen's career, helping to establish him as a leading man in Hollywood. His ability to embody both action-oriented and introspective characters with equal finesse became a hallmark of his acting style, which resonated strongly in his later works, including Bullet, 1968, and The Great Escape, 1963. Steve McQueen's appeal as an anti-hero and his magnetic screen presence made him a cultural icon of the 1960s and 1970s. Known as the King of Cool, his performances often featured a compelling blend of depth and detachment, which captivated audiences around the world. Steve McQueen passed away on November 7, 1980, in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, at the age of 50. His portrayal of Vin Tanner in The Magnificent Seven remains a defining part of his legacy, exemplifying his skill in creating complex, enduring characters. His work in the film is celebrated for its contribution to the Western genre and for helping to cement his status as one of cinema's greatest stars. Rico Alanis, Sotero. Rico Alanis brought to life the character of Sotero in the 1960 classic Western, The Magnificent Seven. While not one of the seven main gunmen, his role as one of the villagers provides a crucial element to the narrative highlighting the everyday struggles and resilience of the village under threat from bandits. Born on October 25, 1919, in Juarez, Mexico, Alanis often portrayed characters that exemplified quiet strength and dignity. In The Magnificent Seven, 
His character Sotaro is a supportive of villager who interacts with the main characters, helping to mobilize the villager in preparation for the final confrontation with the bandits. His performance, though not as front and center as the leads, adds depth to the ensemble cast, giving a face and voice to the villagers' plight. Alanis's portrayal of Sotero contributed to the film's exploration of themes such as courage, community, and survival. His ability to embody such a grounded and realistic character helped to enhance the authenticity of the story, making the villagers' fight for freedom all the more compelling. Throughout his career, Rico Alanis appeared in numerous films and television shows, often cast in roles that leveraged his strong presence and rich voice. He was particularly known for his work in westerns, where he frequently played characters that resonated with both integrity and resolve. Rico Alanis passed away on March 9, 2015, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 95. His role as Sotero in The Magnificent Seven remains a part of his acting legacy, showcasing his talent for supporting roles that enriched the film's narrative. His contributions, though sometimes subtle, were always impactful, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and adding a layer of realism to the cinematic worlds he inhabited. Brad Dexter, Harry Luck Brad Dexter's portrayal of Harry Luck in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven added a compelling layer of complexity and intrigue to the ensemble cast. Born on April 9, 1917, in Goldfield, Nevada, Dexter brought a blend of cynicism and opportunism to his character, making Harry Luck a memorable and nuanced figure in the film. Harry Luck is one of the seven gunmen hired to protect a small Mexican village from bandits. Unlike his comrades, Luck initially joins the group under the belief that the job will lead to hidden treasure, showcasing his more self-interested and materialistic nature. Throughout the film, Dexter portrays Luck with a mix of tough bravado and hidden depths, gradually revealing a loyalty and bravery that perhaps even Luck himself did not realize he possessed. This role in The Magnificent Seven was significant in Dexter's career, allowing him to showcase his talent for playing complex characters who are not easily categorized as purely heroic or villainous. His performance added a vital element of human realism to the film, enriching the group dynamic and the moral ambiguities of their mission. Beyond The Magnificent Seven, Brad Dexter had a prolific career in Hollywood. Though he often remained under the radar compared to his more famous co-stars, he appeared in a variety of films, including The Asphalt Jungle, and was known off-screen for saving Frank Sinatra from drowning during a film shoot, which led to a lifelong friendship with the singer. Brad Dexter passed away on December 12, 2002, in Rancho Mirage, California, at the age of 85. His role as Harry Luck remains a significant part of his acting legacy, remembered for its portrayal of a man torn between greed and greater good. Dexter's work in The Magnificent Seven continues to be appreciated for its contribution to the depth and diversity of the film's characters, highlighting his ability to bring complexity and subtlety to his roles. Vladimir Sokolov, Old Man Vladimir Sokolov's portrayal of the old man in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven provided a poignant and wise presence in the ensemble cast. Born on December 26, 1889 in Moscow, Russian Empire, Sokolov brought depth and gravitas to his character, embodying the wisdom and resilience of the oppressed villagers the seven gunmen come to protect. The old man is a respected elder in the Mexican village, one whose counsel and insight into the plight of his people helped to inspire the hiring of the mercenaries. Sokolov's performance is marked by a quiet strength and a profound sense of dignity. His interactions with the gunmen, particularly Chris Adams, played by Yul Brynner, are crucial in defining the moral framework of the story highlighting the stakes of their fight and the villagers' desperate hope for peace and justice. 
This role showcased Sokolov's ability to convey complex emotions with minimal dialogue, relying instead on his expressive face and the subtlety of his gestures. His portrayal added a rich, cultural texture to the film, grounding the narrative in a realistic and humanistic perspective. Throughout his career, Vladimir Sokolov appeared in a wide range of film and television roles across various genres, often playing wise or paternal figures. His international career included significant roles in American, European, and Latin American films, reflecting his versatility and skill in crossing cultural and linguistic barriers. Vladimir Sokolov passed away on February 15, 1962, in West Hollywood, California, at the age of 72. His performance as the old man in The Magnificent Seven remains a testament to his talent for bringing warmth, wisdom, and authenticity to his roles. Sokolov's contribution to the film is celebrated for enhancing its emotional depth and for providing a critical anchor to the villager's perspective in the story. Robert J. Wilk, Wallace Robert J. Wilk's portrayal of Wallace in the 1960 classic western The Magnificent Seven added a rugged and formidable presence to the film's array of characters. Born on May 18, 1914 in Cincinnati, Ohio, Wilk was well known for his roles as a character actor, often playing villains and tough guys in westerns and adventure films. His role as Wallace in The Magnificent Seven is a perfect example of his typecast, where he utilized his imposing stature and stern features to bring an air of menace and authority. In the film, Wallace is one of the antagonists, adding tension and challenge to the efforts of the seven gunmen hired to protect the village. His interactions are marked by conflict and confrontation, showcasing Wilkie's ability to embody the quintessential Western villain, unyielding and formidable. This role highlighted his skill at portraying characters that audiences loved to dislike, providing a critical counterbalance to the heroes of the story. Wilk's performance in The Magnificent Seven was emblematic of his career contributions to the film industry, where he often played similar roles that capitalized on his tough demeanor. Throughout his career, he appeared in over 300 films and television shows, including notable films like High Noon and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. His characters were typically rugged, no-nonsense figures who brought depth and intensity to the screen. Robert J. Wilk passed away on March 28, 1989, in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 74. His role as Wallace in The Magnificent Seven remains a memorable part of his legacy showcasing his talent for playing the quintessential tough antagonist. His work in the film continues to be appreciated for its contribution to the Western genre, marking him as a distinguished character actor who mastered the art of the cinematic villain. Bing Russell, Robert Bing Russell, brought his characteristic ruggedness and subtlety to the role of Robert in the 1960 classic Western, The Magnificent Seven. Born on May 5, 1926, in Brattleboro, Vermont, Russell was primarily known for his work as a character actor in numerous westerns and for his portrayal of Deputy Clem Foster on TV's Bonanza. In The Magnificent Seven, his role, though not as prominent as the leads, contributed significantly to the depth and texture of the ensemble cast, as Robert Bing Russell plays one of the villagers. His character is a part of the backdrop against which the main action unfolds, offering support and interacting with the main characters in ways that help to highlight the communal stakes of the village's defense. Russell's portrayal added a realistic touch to the narrative, embodying the everyday man who is thrust into extraordinary circumstances. His performance, characterized by a quiet determination and resilience, mirrored the collective spirit of the village facing the threat of bandit attacks. Throughout his career, Bing Russell was adept at playing reliable and often sturdy characters, making him a familiar face in the genre of westerns. He brought authenticity and a certain reliability to his roles, often portraying lawmen, cowboys, and townspeople, which made him a favored choice for such parts. Apart from his acting career, Bing Russell was also notable for his venture into baseball, 
owning and operating a minor league baseball team, the Portland Mavericks. This off-screen role highlighted his diverse interests and entrepreneurial spirit. Bing Russell passed away on April 8, 2003, in Thousand Oaks, California, at the age of 76. His role as Robert in The Magnificent Seven serves as a testament to his skill at contributing significant performances in supporting roles, enhancing the film's portrayal of a community united against adversity. His work remains appreciated for its honesty and the subtle strength he brought to his characters, making him a respected figure in the annals of Western film history. Whit Bissell, Chamley Whit Bissell, brought a distinctive character actor's flair to the role of Chamley in the 1960 classic Western, The Magnificent Seven. Born on October 25, 1909 in New York City, New York, Bissell was well known for his ability to play a wide array of supporting characters, often portraying figures of authority such as doctors, executives, and military officers. In The Magnificent Seven, his role as Cham Lee, though not extensive, added an important element to the narrative structure and social fabric of the story. Cham Lee is the undertaker in the village, a role that subtly underscores the film's themes of mortality and courage. Bissell's portrayal is marked by a blend of practicality and a slight discomfort with the violence surrounding him, which serves to highlight the everyday realities and fears of the townspeople. His character provides a necessary civilian perspective amidst the gunmen and bandits, emphasizing the stakes of the villagers' struggle through his interactions with the main characters and the villagers. Throughout his career, Whit Bissell appeared in over 200 movies and numerous television shows, carving out a niche for himself as a reliable and versatile character actor. His roles often contributed crucially to the main plot's development, despite their sometimes brief screen time. His performances were characterized by a precise articulation and a demeanor that fit perfectly with the authoritative or bureaucratic roles he frequently embodied. Whit Bissell passed away on March 5, 1996 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California, at the age of 86. His role as Cham Lee in The Magnificent Seven serves as a testament to his skill at bringing complexity and nuance to smaller roles, enhancing the narrative and emotional texture of the films in which he appeared. His legacy in film and television is marked by a prolific career filled with memorable performances that continue to resonate with audiences. Thank you for watching the entire video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye!